police. What the fuck? An eclipse. Oh no. Not again. chamber <laughs> what is this place are they aliens we need a plan Fuck those things up and get the fuck out. Good plan. Sergeant K, what do we got left? So we got um eight clips of 556 FMJ, three 40 mil high X rounds, a couple of nine mil pistols, four clips between them. We'll make that work. Huh. Plus two phosphor rounds. And one block of composition C4. All in is not enough. We've also got this. Nah, it's old, unpredictable. We work with what we got. Now, fuses are shot, but we can use the C4 to detonate them. Let's just hope they still back a punch. The vampires come from those cocoons. You saw how many there were in that vault? There could be thousands in there. Should we blow them up? Burn as many of those motherfuckers as we can and head for the surface. What do you think, Sergeant? Ooh, uh. I'm not gonna allow him to carry a pistol. We are way past that point now, man. We stand together as one. Looks like our explorer friends are here too. We should search this place before we move out. I can't believe Rachel, of all people, would be one of those who's like, I'm not gonna let him have a pistol. She saw what happened. Search the chamber, talk with your allies. Oh, wait a minute, we're playing as Rachel. All right, well, let's find this note first. Oh, it's music. Excuse me? As I discover more about the musical language of these creatures, my mind spins in wonder at how they came to be here. Did they soar through the skies in the days of the dinosaurs? Did their great empire span the globe while we were still swinging from the trees? They are dead now. Their forms are somewhat like our own, but everything else about them is alien to life as we know it. The console displays what appears to be a constellation of stars. Cetus as seen from Earth. Did they come here from beyond, crossing great gulfs of space to land here? Were they trying to get home? What? So I was right. They might be aliens. All right, one more tablet. Who? Who? Hotel? I am so confused. How confident are you that they'll work? They'll work. I should have said it sooner, but um, I'm sorry about Eric's death. Thank you. It means a lot. Rachel, I just want your hand. It's nothing. I'm just cold. Over here. I found something. She's a vampire. She is a vampire. I don't know if that was supposed to happen or not, but... Hunts victim, implants parasite, parasite gestates, host death, parasite takes over. So that's what it is. 
some type of, like, sickness came over them. The beings, whatever they are. This might be the last journal entry. They are coming. We must end it here with blank. If there is time, my last act will be to dictate this diary onto blank, found in the rubble. It can serve as a warning to any who blank. The bones of this temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore and roused something ancient and wicked. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world, unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. I fear being taken, but I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity. For all mankind. Mary, I'm sorry. Did he kill himself? I have no idea. Why is the screen black? Oh! Well, that just popped up real quick. None of them made it out alive. Well, we knew that. All right, let's talk with Jason. But I wouldn't give to see daylight again. Mm. Daylight and a cold one. Rachel. Yeah? I'm sorry for your loss. Eric was a good man. He was. Well, that was a very quick conversation. Oh, there is one more thing over here, and then we'll talk with Celine. What does this say? FAO Pullman, new equipment requests, pickaxe 12, rope minimum of a thousand feet, plywood boxes 29, external 1200L, oh, size, by uh, 1200 length, 790 width, 510 height, millimeters, arc lamps 20 plus generator, crowbars 4, gas masks 6, EVH. What was in it for him? Is it really all about these tablets? To whoever finds this, forgive me. I have sabotaged the dynamite to prevent my colleagues from sealing this temple to the world. Lady Bradshaw was right to bring me here. These creatures are a key to limitless power. There are secrets here that could allow humanity to reach across the stars, perhaps even achieve immortality itself. Please safeguard this ruin and do not think badly of me for what I have done. I serve only the future. Ellis von Hoyten. Hoyten. I don't. I still don't know how to pronounce his name, even though they said it. Wow. So he was the one that sabotaged it all. Remember, that was the plunger that we found all the way up in the tomb. All right. Uh, can't talk with Salim. I think we've already examined everything else. Let's go. Parasite is in her. There's meaning here. It's a language formed from chords, musical scales, sonics. Mary was a pianist. She deciphered it. She thought these carvings represented the stars. Do you see? It's Cetus, the whale. We're a long way from the night sky. It's a mystery. According to the journal, there was only one scale of sound in the device. But Mary was studying it alone. I think there may be another. I'm going to need your help. What can I do? This console is too big to operate single-handedly. Okay. Am I going in?
I have no idea what I'm doing. I just did something, apparently. These creatures were once peaceful. Their language was one of music. How could they not feel emotion? Then a tragedy fell upon them. Their great empire collapsed. Their music fell silent, and they turned on each other. What happened? Sickness? A madness? What turned them from architects into killers? Whatever it is, it twisted them. Now they're creatures of hate. Animals. Dead things. No one left to kill. So they slept. And they waited. They waited for us. What's happening? Rachel. Rachel, look at me. She has it. It's inside her. Sorry. What is she doing? I'm not going to do this. They came from the stars. This isn't their home. It's an ark. Do something! She's turning into one of them! I'll put her out of her misery. Hold her the fuck down. There's gotta be a way we can't lose her! There's no other way. Hold her down. Remember what happened to your friend Clarice? It won't be pleasant if Rachel turns too. Oh my god. I'm not gonna do it. Jason. Don't do it. I have to put you down. Fuck, dude. I should have done it. You were going to shoot me? The hell were you thinking? I was the only one that was thinking. Wait, wait, may I suggest something? Fuck, man, just say it. There may be another way. The fluid in the cocoons. Oh, shit, I think I know where you're going with this. What's he talking fluid. about? Fluid, it keeps the flesh alive, but it stops the aging. A man covered in this fluid, he should have been dead, but he was alive. It kept him alive. If we can get Rachel in there, it could stop this. Are you for real? 
It could stop her from transforming. The cocoon will keep her safe until we return with help. It's our only hope. Just do it. Anything to stop this. Holy shit, dude. I, I did not see this coming. So the difference was, I think you had to kill Clarice, but spare Rachel. And they wanted you to do this that one. dichotomy. Wow. back for you. Don't let me die here. There's no way. Is that a promise? Yes, ma'am. Do whatever it takes to get to safety. The world needs to know what happened down here. And now she just freezes. I swear, I'm coming back for you. Dude, this is insane. This is it. We have to do this. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Those mounds are made of cocoons. Thousands of them. If we set the charges there, they'll all burn. Gotta move, quick. Okay, listen up. We've been hit hard tonight. We lost brothers. Rachel's gone. So's the Colonel. But now, it's time to get some payback. We plan charges on as many of those clusters as possible and then detonate them remotely. The second those charges go off, we haul ass to the exit. Luck is on our side. We'll do more than fry a few vampires. We'll create a diversion. Shalim, you ready? I am. Okay, then. Let's get loose, kids. Okay. Who's going to place the dynamite? All right, fuck it. I'll do it. You're crazy. We'll do it together. Nah, the more of us down there, the more chances we'll get seen. Take a detonator. If I don't make it, Nick, hear me out. If I don't make it, I want you to blow those charges. Just don't go getting trigger happy on me. Every step of the way, you keep in radio contact. And if there's no radio signal, then I'll pop a flare. You see it go up, you hit that detonator. Be quick and be safe. You hear me, buddy? Holy shit. This is, this is gonna be dangerous. There's gonna be multiple opportunities to shoot up the flare, to pull the detonator trigger. It's not like I have many explosives. Oh, I'm playing as Salim. I can't make it out.
there. There's one ahead of him. His left. Nick, the cocoons are hatching ahead of you. You gotta move fast. Okay. First dynamite is down. Over. Which way? Left bolt, right. Am I bleeding? How how am I bleeding now after all this time? Just stay alive. Oh, come on. That was close. Well, there's one right next to me. Where's Karoom? Oh, there he is. I just saw him walking in the background. Choice, advance or retreat. We have to advance. I'm going for it. We got to risk it all. Nick is a good guy, but how many more go down if he doesn't do this? It's way too easy. What is it? There are too many. He's a dead man. Sweet baby Jesus. Wait! What will warning him do now? There is no way out. Hey, how's it looking up there? Hundreds of them. At least you've got the boss to tell me the truth. I'm sorry, Nikki. For this. For what happened at that checkpoint. It's a war, Jason. Bad shit happens. Can't help. Oh my god. I'm so speechless, dude. This is insane. It is so mean that they put the lights on there. They're so hard to see.
Charging we, place. we got it. Now get the hell out. It's a room. I should have pulled them out. Fuck. Did this even work? Coming for you. Karoom. He's a fucking badass, dude. Uh-oh. Why is he bleeding? Was that a death? Oh my god. I don't know what triggered that death. Like, what made that such a final thing? Like, there was nothing I could do to save him. in peace, Nick. I cannot believe that. I should have pulled them out. Like, uh, there had to be some way that the explosion goes off and then you go and save him. But one of the decisions I made made it so he would die. But I don't know which one prior would have... that would have been. Quickly! Oh, there could have been so many more people with us. That was what that scene was. But now there's only two of us. What is it?
What? What the hell is all this happening? I feel like there should be so much more happening if I had more people left alive. Police. That's not good. Now we gotta save Selene. Oh, no. <laughs> he just climbed up even further. I thought we were gonna have to get to the top and then pull. The spider webbing of choices here is unbelievable. And to think, there was a way that you could have all five of them standing on that hand. Wow. I fucked up something fierce. alive. This is Bailman 21 Actual to Coyote 2. Radio check, over. This is Coyote 2, solid copy. Evac units are being prepped. ETA five hours, wait, over. Improvise, adapt, and overcome! We fucking did it! Look. Look around you. <sighs> so quiet. <gasps> you think those shepherds are still around here? I could use a cold one. I must return home to my boy. He must be worried about me. <sighs> An eclipse. Not again. Another way out. 
the seller. Oh, flares! Flares? Where are the bullets? Fuck! We use what we got. It's been interesting knowing you. Come on, buddy. Now we're Jason. So many button presses. Oh my god. They're so random. The presses are crazy, dude. I can't even appreciate what's happening. The sunlight. <laughs> they fucking made it. They fucking made it. I still don't know about Rachel. I think she's dead. I need to see my boy. A souvenir. Shalane, wait. Good luck, brother. You wish Zane a happy birthday from me. Thank you, Jason. Goodbye, my friend. That might have been the craziest choice-based game I have ever played in my life. It was just non-stop. It, it was non-stop action. Non-stop presses, non-stop decision-making. You had to be on your toes. They nailed that aspect of, like, being in the military. Mailman 2 and actual. We have eyes on and are clear for even. Oh. Clear. 
it's just Jason. I seriously think I had three characters die. Because Rachel probably can also not get bitten by a vampire. So, I'm guessing she's dead down there. Nick died down there. Eric died down there. And I, I hate it how they did that little twist at the end. Like, oh, you're safe, you're safe. Eclipse! The vampires can come out! Holy shit, dude. Well, let's hear it for the creator, or the, uh, curator. Freely they stood who stood, and fell who fell. Not bad. You've guided some of your charges to the light, while others have fallen to the dark. Survival often comes at a great cost, a cost that others sometimes must pay. I look forward to our next encounter. Perhaps I'll choose a story that's a little more homely next time, somewhere you'd be guaranteed of a decent night's sleep. Rest assured, wherever it is, you'll find it extremely hard to leave. Until the next time. You know the way out. So wait a minute. Rachel did live. Because her candle was lit. Are we going to get a resolution here? You're late and you look like shit. I just got off the red eye. What's your excuse? Good flight? Oh, shit movie, shit meal, no leg room. You cram me in the back? By the toilets. Nice. Coffee wasn't so bad, though. Good fucking muffins. Did you read the brief? On the flight. How's it going with the analysis team? The ISG team took heavy losses, but it wasn't a complete disaster. We just had to scrape some of them off the floor. Poor bastards. And the entities? Like nothing we've seen before. That's the parasite. Cool check, Jason. First Lieutenant, Marine Force Recon. The best of the best, huh? Or so they advertised. Fuck! Now how many times do I have to keep telling you the same damn story? I understand. However, SETCOM needs to iron out any irregularities. Such as? The whole fucking thing was irregular! Such as why you allied with an enemy combatant? You weren't fucking there! Those things were ripping us to shreds! I don't give a damn who it was! We needed all the help we could get! And Sergeant K? Nikki didn't make it. So they cooperated with an Iraqi soldier down there? Republican Guard, if you can believe it. I'm dying to meet this guy. Nothing to show. He walked. The hell's that mean? By the time the extraction team got here, he was gone. Could be across the border by now. Sneaky son of a bitch. Now I see why Kolchak enlisted his help. The analysis team are still pulling specimens from the site. It's carnage down there. They used dynamite? We don't know how they got their hands on it. Ah, shame. This testimony could have been valuable. That was Sergeant K. This is like Winterfold all over again. Uh-huh. Ah, and here we have Colonel Eric King, our in-house genius. He definitely got more than he bargained for. Those two were married, right? In the loosest sense of the word. That's quite the love bite. It's a damn shame is what it is. A colonel had a lot more to answer for. This comes down to Kalis. It mistook the temple for Sam's weapon depot. Piece of shit system. I wouldn't say that. It's been a big find for us. We've been lucky. This is your definition of lucky. One more to go. 
Rachel's alive. They left Rachel King at the site. She's been recovered. <sighs> and the parasite? Extracted. Lucky girl. We still on for next Sunday? Janet's making hot pie. You bet your ass we're on. I'll never get used to this job. Why would you want to? At least this one was localized. And a small blessing. So, what do you make of it all? Doesn't matter what I think. Only thing that matters is controlling the flow of information. As far as the world knows, not a damn thing happened here. Wow. Wow. That was crazy. So they did that in a unique way. Basically, it seemed like there were several outcomes that could happen in the end there. Like not only could people live or die, but they could also have certain types of testimony. Like Salim maybe didn't go into the sunset. Maybe he was there testifying with them. And Kolchak could have been like, oh, I didn't work with him. Like, I was, you know, loyal to the U.S. or whatever. And Rachel, she could have been dead and in a body bag. But instead, they got the parasite out of her and she was alive. I mentioned it before that that game was one of the craziest choice-based games I've ever played. Not because it was, like, the best one. Oh, excuse me as I hit my mic. Not because it was the best one, or because it was the most unique, but it felt incredibly consequential, and it also felt... It felt like it was always up at a 10. Like, the dial was cranked up to a 10, and your foot was on the throttle the entire time. You could not let up, and you were always second-guessing your decisions in there. Like, it seemed like, um... A lot of times when you play these games, the main character is the one that can be killed the most. Like in Little Hope, I would argue Andrew was the one that could die more than anybody. Um, I forget who could die the least, though. And then in Man of Medan, it really wasn't as clear, but I felt like the brothers, uh, Brad and Alex, were the ones who were constantly dodging death. And in this game, it, it felt like Salim was relatively safe. It felt like Jason dodged a ton of bullets. Same with Nick and same with Rachel. And of course, now we have this awesome, you know, metal music here as it's playing. But man, oh man, I really enjoyed the game. Uh, and right now we're probably going to get a trailer for the next game. So stay tuned. You want to know what it means to be a killer? Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That's true art. That's what you have to be, an artist. I've left my mark on the world. Have you?